An Australian professor has pioneered a seemingly crazy idea to breed baby cane toads to save native animals. And it's won Professor Rick Shine the Prime Minister's Prize for Science. National Science reporter Jake Sturmer has more. When cane toads arrived at Rick Shine's snake study site in the tropics a few decades ago, little did he know they would fundamentally change his career. It looked as if they would kill many of the snakes that I'd been studying and it became clear that this was a fantastic opportunity to, to study a biological invasion and maybe see if there were ways that we could do something about this terrible catastrophe that has befallen Australian wildlife. His solution? Release baby cane toads ahead of the broader invasion front to teach native animals not to eat the toxic amphibian. And we discovered that the, the big impact of toads is that they fatally poison large predators uh, eating a small toad's not too bad. You get sick, but you recover, and then you don't eat any more toads. But if the first toad you eat is a big one, you die. It's an idea now being rolled out by Western Australia's State Conservation Agency, effectively conceding that the fight to stop the spread of cane toads to the coast is over. Yeah, look, absolutely. It, it, it seems idiocy here. You know, you're spreading cane toads to combat the effect of cane toads, but it works. We've done it with quolls, we've done it with blue tongue lizards, and we've done it with goannas. Every time the individuals we train survive. Rick Shine joins his brother John in receiving the privileged Prime Minister's Prize. John Shine pioneered the field of gene research in the early 1970s, and he was the first to clone a human hormone gene. And the Shine's family genes might be worth studying too. Rick's son Mac is a neuroscientist working at Stanford in the United States. Perhaps another future Shine family winner. Jake Sturmer, ABC News.